Right, so it's 2022 and you want to know how to do VR chat on Omegle still. I don't know how relevant this trend is anymore, but there's people still asking and still following the tutorial and things have changed. So we're going to do it again. We're going to update this video. All right, so we're going to hit the Windows button in the bottom left right here. We're just going to click this, okay? And we're going to type in Edge. If you have Apple, you're going to go to whatever it is, Safari. I don't know if it's still Safari, but you're just going to go to your browser, your main browser, and we're going to open it. Microsoft Edge is the default browser here, and we're going to get Google Chrome. And if you have Google Chrome already, you can skip this part. I'm going to put timeline so you know where to skip to. But for anyone who does not have Google Chrome, we're getting Google Chrome because it it's easy to mess with the cameras and I use Google Chrome so it's hard for me to tell you what to do without using the same thing all right so we're gonna hit download Chrome blue button easy it's gonna pop up right here you're gonna hit open file if you accidentally close it, you're gonna hit the three dots you're gonna hit downloads and you're gonna hit open file if you're using a different browser because you didn't want to listen that's totally fine you're gonna hit downloads you're gonna open your little folder in the bottom corner and you're gonna click on that file explorer and then we're going to go to downloads tab and it's going to be right here and you're going to double click that and we're going to let it run we're just going to hit yes and we're going to go with the flow let it do what it does i have chrome already so it's just going to open my chrome basically and create a shortcut you're just going to follow it step by step it's going to be easy don't worry and that's it and then you're going to have chrome and once you have chrome open we're going to close edge this is easy peasy we're going to type it in OBS. You can go to obsprojects.com, project.com. That is where we're going, but you can just type in OBS and that will be good to go. It's going to be the first result, but we want to make sure it is obsproject.com. Do not go to Streamlabs. Don't go anywhere else. This is where we want to go. It looks exactly like this. Remember that. Click it or just do it right now. Now. You're going to click one of the three things here, whichever one you have, you, you know which one you have, I hope. <laughs> and it works on Windows 11. You're good if you update it. And I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click Windows. It's going to download. We're going to hit keep because for some reason it's not malicious. Don't worry about it. So we're going to hit keep. This is the recording software that almost every YouTuber and Twitch streamer uses or some form of it. This is the main one. So don't worry about it. It's safe. All right, we're going to click that. We're going to go through the installation process. It's going to ask you for a resolution. Put the resolution of whatever your monitor is. If you have a 1080 monitor, you're going to use that. If you have 1440, you're going to use that. So on. If you have a 720, you're going to use that. I doubt you do. You probably have 1080. Unless you like computers, then you probably have a 1440. If you're more high end or higher, you could have 4K for all I know. But you know what I'm saying. Um, so we're going to hit yes. And we're going to go step by step through this. I can't do that. I already have OBS. I'm recording, so it's going to give me an error. But just go through it. It's easy. Just click through it and put your resolution in. All right. Now, I'm going to close Chrome. Click the Windows button. Type in OBS. And there it is. And you're going to click that. This isn't going to pop up. OBS is just going to launch. This is only here because I am recording already. So I already have OBS open. So I'm going to launch it anyway. And I'm going to open another window. We're going to go to scenes, we're going to hit the plus button, and we're going to type in Omegle. Omegle. Alright, easy. We are opening a new scene. Alright, so we got sources. Our sources are blank right now. You want to do VR chat. Clearly, that's what you want to do. So, we're going to go to our Steam. Hopefully, you have Steam. Hopefully, that's how you have VR chat. I do it through Steam. We're going to open VR chat as long as you can open it on your computer. If it's the Oculus Store, or whatever, as long as you can open a window, it's fine. But I use Steam, so I'm going to open VR chat on Steam. I'm not going to tell you how to install VR chat. Just go to the store and type in VR chat because I assume you have it already if you want to be doing VR chat on Omegle. I'm going to do this without VR right now. It's the same thing, and I will talk about it more later in the video if you can certain things like how to move your hands and so on so i'm gonna boot it up okay now that we're in vr chat this is the game we want to be streaming this is what we want to put on to omegle this is going to work the same way in desktop or in vr just follow the same steps it's the same thing except while you're in vr you can use the camera the stream camera will be the one you want to use and here you can't so I'll, you know use a mirror if you're on desktop okay so we're going to open up Omegle right here. And now we're going to go to sources and we're going to hit the plus button under sources and we're going to hit game capture. 
I'm gonna type in, I guess, just VRC for VR chat. I'm gonna click that, and then we're gonna hit this drop down. We're gonna hit capture specific window. We're gonna hit Windows drop down. We're gonna hit VR chat and turn off capture cursor. That's easy. Now we're gonna right click this. You have to have this selected. So left, I guess we'll say left click VRC right here down here, and right click it, and we're gonna hit transform we don't, you don't click it just hover over transform and then you're going to come over here and you're going to hit fit to screen now it's going to fit it perfectly in the screen if you don't like the cinematic black bars you're going to go back to transform and you're going to hit stretch to screen but it's going to deform it just a little bit but it will fill the entire screen i'm going to do fit to screen click fit to screen and now you hit start recording, you hit start virtual cam, sorry. It's built in, we don't need a plugin anymore, you just click that, and we're off and running. We're gonna go to Google, back to Google Chrome, and look at that, we're already right there. You're done. You're on the screen, and you're in Omegle. But, you don't have your hands? Okay, you want hands. So, you're going to want to get a tool. You're going to have to pay for this tool. There's other tools out there. Do your research. But right now, I use this tool. It's called um, VC, uh, VR, VC, uh, OVR Toolkit. Boom. 12 bucks. Easy. All this setup guide. It's not hard. Just launch it while you're in VR and you can pull up a screen to show that or you could just use a steam overlay and that will work but you won't have your hands but you'll be able to move in vr now say you want to record you want to record this video and you want to have good youtube content you like how i think tfm johnny still does this he puts the person in the bottom left corner a little box you like that you want to do that too you don't like just showing the omegle screen all right we got you so we're going to hit plus button right here in the sources again, and we're going to hit window capture. Yep, and we're going to capture Chrome. We're going to click that. We're going to do a little drop down window. We're going to hit Chrome. Boom. Easy as that. We're going to right click it. We're going to do the same thing we did before. Transform, fit the screen. And now, if that didn't show up when you were doing that, it's because this window is minimized. Make sure the window is not minimized. It's just behind this window so you can get the drop down and see chrome okay now that we have this you want to crop it so we're going to go to transform and we're going to hit edit transform i'm going to find these right numbers just try to find the good some decent numbers boom 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 good enough it's close enough for me we're going to scale that down scale that properly down now we have camera in the corner hit start recording go back to omegle yes they will see themselves but they, that won't show up in your recording so whatever and then you can hit go and they'll show up as you can see it's showing up right there and there they are okay i don't like that so there they are and that was how you do it good to record you stop recording and you got your video and that's it now is your microphone or camera not showing well time to take some extra steps go to chrome we're going to go to the top right corner we're going to click the three dots you're going to go down hit settings we're going to go to the search bar we're going to type in camera enter you're gonna to go to site settings you're gonna click that and you're gonna scroll down there's gonna be camera we're gonna click that and then look right here at the top just drop down you can select a camera and this will select the default camera you're gonna hit obs virtual camera boom and we're gonna hit sites can ask to use your camera if that is not checked put that there now we're gonna go back and you're gonna to go to down a little bit and you're gonna go with a microphone and then when you go to microphone here's a drop down again you got a whole drop down of microphones pick your microphone this one is mine and you're gonna then again click this little box and it's gonna allow you to use it when you go to omegle it's mostly gonna have a little pop-up asking if it can use your microphone and stuff you say yes if it doesn't you should be able to click this and click yes and you'll be good to go
Oh, one more note. As a thing not to get banned, because a lot of you have been getting banned, I see from the comments. It's not exactly the process itself that's getting you banned, except I can't tell you if the plugin itself harms it now more, because we're not using the plugin anymore, but it's not the process. It is how you use it. You cannot play music through Omegle, copyrighted music. You will get banned. Do not skip too much. You might get banned. You are a virtual camp, so make sure you try to talk to people here and there. Just be cautious and don't use anything that's way too risque. You know, Omegle isn't actually meant to have the things that we sometimes see on there. Okay, that's it. Have fun, guys. Bye-bye.